Cal Fire says it's burned about 3,600 acres since starting around 1245 yesterday afternoon. That's about 900 more acres than at the last update. This is around Lake McClure. Crews do have 7% containment on this fire. One structure has been destroyed. And the fire has been burning through some dry grass, brush, and trees. And case area 3 is Anahita Jafari is live nearby the Pedro fire. And Anahita, what are they telling you? Yeah, I've been hearing a lot from Cal Fire today, but most importantly, you can really smell the fire out here right up behind me where those hills are. You can see a lot of that smoke and we did speak with some neighbors as well that live nearby. It was scary. It was very, very scary. Neighbors shared photos like these, some of them taken from their homes. Then our neighbor called us and wanted to know if we needed to evacuate and we stepped out of the outside and saw it from our front yard and it had just blown up. So we were like, yeah, you might want to get ready. One man says the wildfire came out of nowhere. It went from like two acres, three acres to a hundred acres. And I'm like, yeah, but it's it's all the buck brush. That's what keeps it going. That's what fires it up and just it explodes because buck brush has got so much oil in it that it's it's like a hand grenade. The fire, some say, is causing problems beyond the flames. A lot of the people down Piney Creek is going to be without electric for three days unless that they hurry and jump up and get it going before then. The water department asked everybody to, they put the feeler out, send emails, and posted it in different places to please cut back on your water consumption. Prepare for the uh, worst and hope for the best. That's yeah. about all you can do. There are also a few evacuation shelters open for people, their pets, smaller pets, as well as bigger animals such as cattle. Sending it back to you. All right, Anita, thank you so much for the live report. Evacuation orders and warnings remain in effect for this fire zone. The zones in red are orders to get out now. Yellow, those are evacuation warning areas. There may also be some road closures in the area, especially for firefighting personnel to get it through. And if you're in the area and feel unsafe, just go ahead and leave now. You don't need to wait for them to upgrade it to an order. This fire is affecting air quality in Yosemite National Park. The park has posted a caution note on its website with a link to an air quality monitor. And today it was listed as unhealthy for sensitive groups. Older adults, children, and those with certain medical conditions should limit time outdoors.